Here are 30 most commonly asked pricing procedure related interview questions. With detailed and informative answers for SAP MM Materials Management interviews. 1. What is a pricing procedure in SAP MM? Answer. A pricing procedure in SAP MM defines the sequence and conditions for determining the prices of materials or services during procurement. It consists of condition types, access sequences, and calculation formulas. 2. How is the pricing procedure determined in a purchase order in SAP MM? Answer. The pricing procedure in a purchase order is determined based on the combination of document type, vendor, and purchasing organization. This determination is configured in the SAP system. 3. Explain the components of a pricing procedure. Answer. The components of a pricing procedure include condition types, access sequences, condition tables, calculation schema, and schema group. These components work together to determine the prices during the procurement process. 4. What is a condition type in the context of pricing procedure? Answer. A condition type in pricing procedure represents a specific pricing element, such as net price, freight, discount, or tax. Each condition type is assigned specific attributes and controls how the price is calculated. 5. How is the condition type linked to the access sequence in SAP? MM? Answer. The condition type is linked to the access sequence through the condition table. The condition table defines the key fields based on which the system searches for applicable condition records using the access sequence. 6. Explain the role of the access sequence in the pricing procedure. Answer. The access sequence defines the sequence in which the system searches for condition records. It consists of one or more condition tables, and the system looks for relevant records in the order specified by the access sequence. 7. What is the significance of the condition table in pricing procedure? Answer. The condition table in pricing procedure defines the key fields based on which condition records are stored and searched. It determines the combination of factors for which pricing information is maintained. 8. How does the calculation schema influence the pricing procedure? Answer. The calculation schema in pricing procedure determines the sequence and rules for calculating prices. It includes steps for condition determination, condition calculation, and rounding. The schema controls the overall pricing logic. 9. Explain the concept of schema group in pricing procedure. Answer. The schema group in pricing procedure is used to group together condition types that share similar characteristics. It allows for a logical grouping of conditions, making it easier to manage and maintain pricing procedures. 10. How can you configure a new pricing procedure in SAP? MM? Answer. To configure a new pricing procedure, use the transaction code SAPRO in the SAP IMG menu. Define the required components such as condition types, access sequences, condition tables, and assign them to the calculation schema and schema group. 11. What is the purpose of the schema group vendor in pricing procedure? Answer. The schema group vendor in pricing procedure is used to determine the sequence of condition types, specifically for vendor-related conditions. It allows for differentiation in pricing based on vendor-specific conditions. 12. How does the scale basis in condition types impact pricing? Answer. The scale basis in condition types defines the quantity or value on which the price scale is applied. It determines the basis for calculating tiered pricing, such as quantity breaks or value ranges. 13. Explain the significance of the ALT. Calc. Type in condition types. Answer. The ALT. Calc. Type alternative calculation type in condition types. Allows for the alternative calculation of prices based on different methods. It provides flexibility in determining prices based on various criteria. 14. What is the role of the calculation type in condition types? Answer. The calculation type in condition types defines how the condition value is calculated. It specifies whether the condition value is fixed, 
a percentage, or based on a formula, influencing the overall pricing calculation. 15. How does the scale type and condition types impact pricing scales? Answer. The scale type and condition types determines the type of scale used, such as quantity-based or value-based. It defines how the system interprets and applies the pricing scale during the calculation. 16. Explain the purpose of the condition control in pricing procedure. Answer. The condition control in pricing procedure determines the behavior of the condition type during pricing. It specifies whether the condition is mandatory, optional, statistical, or informational. 17. What is the significance of the analysis key in pricing procedure? Answer. The analysis key in pricing procedure is used to group and analyze conditions for reporting purposes. It allows for the categorization of conditions based on specific criteria, aiding in the analysis of pricing data. 18. How does the condition index impact condition records in SAP MM? Answer. The condition index in SAP MM is used to manage condition records efficiently. It allows for searching and maintaining condition records based on key fields, making it easier to find and update pricing information. 19. Explain the concept of condition exclusion in pricing procedure. Answer. Condition exclusion in pricing procedure allows for the exclusion of certain conditions based on specific criteria. It provides control over the inclusion or exclusion of conditions during the pricing calculation. 20. How do you assign a pricing procedure to a vendor in SAP? MM? Answer. To assign a pricing procedure to a vendor, use the transaction code XKO2, change vendor. In the vendor master record, go to the purchasing data view and enter the relevant pricing procedure in the field provided. 21. What is the purpose of the condition exclusion group in SAP MM? Answer. The condition exclusion group in SAP MM is used to group condition types. That should be excluded if one condition within the group is met. It provides a way to control the exclusion of conditions based on specific criteria. 22. How does the scale basis in the condition type influence tiered pricing? Answer. The scale basis in the condition type defines the basis for tiered pricing. It specifies whether the pricing scale is based on quantity, value, weight, or another criterion. The scale basis determines how the tiered pricing is calculated. 23. What is the role of the subtotal in the calculation schema? Answer. The subtotal in the calculation schema is used to group and subtotal certain condition types during the pricing calculation. It provides a way to organize and display the pricing components in the document. 24. Explain the concept of requirements and condition types. Answer. Requirements and condition types define conditions that must be met for the condition type to be active. It allows for the conditional activation or deactivation of condition types based on specific criteria. 25. How can you troubleshoot pricing issues in SAP? MM? Answer. To troubleshoot pricing issues, use tools such as Condition Analysis Transaction VK11. Pricing Simulation Transaction Me 49, and Reviewing Condition Records. Check the Pricing Procedure Determination and Configuration for Errors. 26. What is the significance of the ALT? CONT. Base Value in Condition Types? Answer. The ALT. CONT. Base Value Alternative Condition Base Value. In Condition Types allows for the alternative determination of the condition base value. It provides flexibility in calculating prices based on different criteria. 27. Explain the purpose of the document pricing procedure in SAP M. Answer. The document pricing procedure in SAP MM defines the sequence and conditions for determining prices in sales and purchasing documents. It allows for customization of pricing logic specific to document types. 28. How do you configure a new condition type in SAP? MM? Answer. To configure a new condition type, use the transaction code VK11, create condition. Enter the required details such as condition class, condition category, 
and calculation type. Assign the condition type to an access sequence. 29. What is the role of the pricing date in SAP MM? Answer. The pricing date in SAP MM determines the date on which prices are retrieved for the document. It influences the validity period of condition records and the calculation of prices based on the specified date. 30. What are the challenges in pricing procedure configuration, and how do you overcome them? Answer. Challenges in pricing procedure configuration include complexity, understanding business requirements, and ensuring consistency. Overcoming these challenges requires collaboration with business stakeholders thorough testing, and documentation of the configuration process. These questions and answers cover various aspects of pricing procedure in the context of SAP MM, providing a comprehensive understanding for interview preparation. Interviewers may tailor questions based on specific project requirements or the candidate's experience level. For more exciting tips, tricks and more importantly, for valuable insights of interviews, please share like and subscribe to my channel it has a lot of valuable information about various insights of interviews it has a wide range of real world portfolio projects of various technologies for interviews and it has wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies like data science sap aws devops and full stack web development and more that will be useful during interviews it has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers and real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for freshers. For two to three years, experienced candidates, and for five or above years, experienced candidates to test their skills by knowing most. Ask interview questions and make themselves ready for interviews.